Okay, I have to warn you folks, you need to set aside an hour after you watch this tutorial because you will get so hooked with this website, you won't want to stop. The website gapminder.org, the value, it takes otherwise hard to digest numbers from the UN, from the World Health Organization, and packages them in a graphical format that makes them easy to understand, great resources for projects, stuff that will thrill any teacher. Let's get right into it, folks. We go to gapminder.org, click on the tab labeled Gapminder World, and it always starts off loading wealth and health of nations, that data set. All right, and our data is loaded. Check this out. Each circle represents an individual nation. The size of the circle represents their population. The position on the graph is related to what data we're looking at. So on the x-axis down at the bottom of the screen, income per person, and on the y-axis, on the left side of the screen, life expectancy. The big four-digit number in the background, you guessed it, friends, that's the date. Let's see what happens when we click the play button in the lower left. Watch and enjoy. The years are counting up. Different nations are coming live as there's available data. Life expectancy, life expectancy is marching up and down on the y-axis while the data progresses left to right on the x-axis as income increases. The yellow circle is the United States. The large red circle is China. Now you may see changes in data. Sometimes something dramatic happened within that nation or globally. It could be that there was an issue with data reporting, but you can see how that flowed along. Now a little bit of navigation on the date slider at the bottom, you can move that to whatever area you, whatever date range you'd like to see. So you have total choice there. You can look at individual continents and trace that continent by clicking on it and you'll get a blank. If you're interested in an individual nation, let's pick, let's trail China for example, check it off the list, and then let's play again. But now what it's doing is it is trailing the progress of that nation's data relative to the data sets that we've presented. Much clearer and easier to understand sometimes if you just isolate one nation, or you could of course isolate a series of nations. So let's add the US into the mix. And you can watch those two nations as their life expectancy and population and income per person changes over time. We're almost into the 2000s. There we go, up to 2012. So Gapminder, incredibly powerful. Now, you're not limited just to these two data sets, friends. Not at all. Let's see what else we have. We click on the drop down on the y-axis, and you can see the different menus and subsets of data that are available for you to use. So let's go into economy, income and growth. Let's do GDP per capita, gross domestic product, in case you're curious, and we'll let that one load. And then on the x-axis, I'd like to switch it to, we'll go down to infrastructure. There's a lot of gold data down here in infrastructure communication, I want to see cell phone ownership per 100 people. Is there any correlation between economic growth and cell phone ownership? And it's loading that data. We still have two countries trailed. We'll leave that for now. Click play. Now, cell phones aren't available yet. Into the 80s, here we go, the fabulous 80s. Oh, cell phones are picking up in the US. And that jumps quickly to 2011. But let's take off this trailing for a moment and notice that you can hover over an individual nation, Macau, China, furthest over when it comes to cell phone per 100 people as well as 
gross domestic product in U.S. dollars, followed by Hong Kong, Panama, interesting, Saudi Arabia, Antigua and Barbados, Russia, and again, U.S., China, India, Vietnam. By hovering, you get more information. A click isolates the data for that individual continent. So this is a brief introduction into Gapminder. I highly recommend that you use this for your next project. If you are wondering where does the data come from so that you can cite the source, responsible person that you are, check it out. Just above the play button, World Bank, click it and you will be taken to that data set. So you know the data is reliable, reportable, and can, is ready to be included in your citation. Thanks for watching. Any questions, put them in the comments below and enjoy Gapminder.